Padhyay, the CIO Equity at Kodak Mutual Fund joins in now. Harsha, good afternoon. Uh, do you foresee more downside due to demonetization or do you think that a bottom has been formed around the Brexit day low of 7900? Uh, it's very early to say whether bottom has already been seen in the market because uh, things are evolving day by day. Uh, we are also trying to assess where the impact is in terms of uh, slowdown in business activities or maybe in terms of postponement of demand in the very short term and also what could be the medium term impact on all of this on the companies. Uh, while we all uh, clearly believe that this is a very good move uh, which will benefit our economy as well as our business, especially the businesses which were running in a fair ma manner which were tax compliant, I think those will definitely uh, gain. And also there will be another trend which will, uh, which will start getting uh, more you know, focus and that is uh, organized leadership positions of companies uh, will get that much more uh, uh, stronger. Uh, we believe that uh, there will be a move out of an organized segment into organized segment which means that from a stock market perspective I think some of the leadership companies will continue to gain market share incrementally. Uh, but in the very near term, it's very difficult to assess where the impact would be and to that extent, it's very difficult to say whether the stock market has already discounted all the bad news. Uh, but we clearly see any fall from here on uh, as a buying opportunity from a medium to long term perspective. Harsha, good afternoon. From a long term investor point of view, would you buy the biggest hit sector, which is consumption sector, the auto stocks? Would you touch any of them now? See, what we are trying to assess is uh, where will the money go? Uh, government is going to collect more tax, its liability is going to go down and probably they will also pay uh, lesser interest, on their, uh, interest uh, on, their, on their loans. So to that extent, whatever money that they save or gain from higher taxes, where will it go? According to us, it can only go into two or three major areas. One, obviously, uh, some of the sections of the government have already spoken that there is going to be thrust on rural economy. So I think anything linked to rural economy uh, probably will get more focus uh, in the budget uh, next year. Uh, similarly, uh, we also know that there is going to be some impact of uh, job losses in the informal sector. If they have to make it up, uh, then they have to look at some large uh, public sector uh, uh, oriented uh, construction projects where I think government will fund this and uh, they will have to do something on infrastructure and construction. So that is another area where uh, large amounts of money can be put to work. And thirdly, maybe there will be some benefit given to individual taxpayers because we already have a roadmap in terms of lower uh, income tax rates for corporates. Maybe we'll have something on that for even individual taxpayers so that the overall consumption uh, gets a boost uh, both in urban as well as in rural areas uh, post this uh, hiccup that we are seeing. So these are some of the thoughts uh, that are there in our mind. If it happens this way, then I think uh, some of the sectors and stocks which have got beaten down because the near term impact will be the only uh, sectors or stocks which will get positively impacted. So to that extent, uh, yes, uh, at, at lower valuations, we may look at some of these stocks once again. Are you baffled with the rise that we've seen in metal stocks, Harsha? And uh, are you, have you been bullish on the commodity cycle? I know you've not invested in any of these stocks uh, up until now in your funds, but would you buy any metal stocks now? No, we have not been uh, present in the metals uh, sector at all uh, in our portfolios. Uh, it, it's, it's baffling to us that uh, while dollar index is gaining strength, um, metals are also moving up. Uh, this has never hap happened in the past, but at this point of time we are seeing that uh, uh, these two are moving in a uh, similar direction. Uh, our belief is uh, at some point of time uh, uh, there will be a realization that uh, uh, the demand that is getting built in, in terms of the metals uh, uh, demand, uh, will we'll probably see a little bit uh, uh, moderation and uh, people will start looking at uh, whether there is already a, a kind of a runoff which cannot be sustained by fundamentals. So to that extent, we continue to remain circumspect on metals. Uh, we, would prob uh, we would prefer to play that through domestic commodities, which is again cement. So yes, there has been some impact in the very short term, but I think if stocks correct further from here on and if we believe that government is going to focus on uh, rural affordable housing and construction and infrastructure building, etc. I think cement will come back uh, much more strongly. Uh, but for cement, you know, we have seen relatively weak earnings uh, last quarter anyway, and now with demonetization, at least uh, November might see slower, lower offtake. Uh, would that not worry you? 
No, I don't think last quarter results were bad for cement sector. I think uh, there were a couple of uh, stocks which didn't give uh, uh, good results, but that was more to more to do with the uh, a lack of uh, capacity at their end. And uh, those who had excess capacity, they have all done uh, reasonably well. And that's what we are playing in our portfolios. Our portfolios uh, are, are focusing on companies which have high operating leverage. So even with small demand out uh, uptick, they should be able to. Uh, really outperform in terms of the overall earnings growth. I think uh, that philosophy will continue to uh, maintain. And as far as the immediate short term is concerned, while uh, we have been speaking to many companies uh, in the sector and uh, we don't get a feeling that everything is bad at this point of time, there is some amount of uh, demand which is definitely going to get postponed. There is some amount of demand which may have already got uh, pre pawned because people would have bought that to, to complete their construction, etc. Uh, so, so to that extent, I think it's uh, uh, better to wait for maybe three, four months before taking a call whether uh, uh, the scenario is uh, uh, stabilizing or not. Uh, our guess is, uh, including cement, many other sectors, there will be some volatility in terms of business uh, during this quarter and maybe it will spill over into even March quarter. So, uh, just by looking at December quarter or March quarter, I don't think you can construct a portfolio today. Uh, you will have to look at it a little bit longer in terms of where the final uh, focus of the government is going to be and which are the sectors that will benefit from that. Well, you know, a lot of people believe that even if the price damage gets arrested, there is big time correction that which could be long and painful. Would you concur? And how long do you think it will take for the market to recover to the pre-demonetization levels? Uh, that is possible simply because uh, nobody is able to really assess the short term impact. So to that extent, uh, as long as there is uncertainty in terms of business activities, in terms of where the earnings growth is uh, headed, uh, there could be some more amount of uh, consolidation. So very difficult to say whether it's going to be a couple of months or a couple of quarters. Uh, but our belief is uh, uh, finally by, by the move that the government has done in terms of demonetization and getting informal economy into the formal sector, I think uh, there will be a push towards uh, financial assets. We have already seen that over the years that uh, money that was going into real estate and gold have uh, gradually started to come down and in, in, uh, come down in favor of financial assets. I think that trend will only accelerate from here on. Uh, all the money that has come into the banks uh, will not stay there, but whatever stays in the banking system will also look at uh, other financial assets other than bank deposits and uh, fixed deposits. So definitely at this point of time, equity is having corrected and also hopefully they will, they will give uh, uh, better uh, tax efficient uh, returns going forward. So from that sense, I think a lot more money can come into uh, domestic equity markets. So that is a trend that uh, we will probably see maybe with one or two quarters of uh, a lag and uh, we hope that that will take uh, market valuations much higher from where we are today. Okay, Harsha, we leave it there. Thanks a lot uh, for your time today. So that's the view.